All right, folks, I hope you have your hot cup of coffee ready because we have the Snap Fresh 20 volt cordless mini chainsaw. And if you guys have not watched my other review videos, well, we're getting this out of the Snap Fresh leaf blower and cordless battery powered weed whacker. Definitely check out the channel for those. Now, as we're getting this out, just like all my videos, top link in the description box right below the video will be this exact same mini chainsaw where you guys can read more about it and pick it up yourself after the video is done. These are absolutely fantastic for my property, especially with dead tree branches, my aspen trees, and let's get all these goodies out and we'll see what we got inside. We have our instruction manual, our charger, our 20 volt battery here, which has a battery indicator light on it right here with a little push button. And I will let you know, but I'm pretty sure this is designed the exact same for the other Snap Fresh power tool. So I'm pretty sure I can use this with my weed whacker and leaf blower. You got a little oil bottle that doesn't have any oil in it, but there is a little oil bottle there. And the chainsaw right here. You have a guard on it right here as we can see. And this is really nice as well. A little top guard here. This is a power tool. This is a sharp power tool, so do be careful with it. Looks like you have a side trigger here, which is gonna be your safety button. So you have to push this in and then trigger the switch. And that is over here as well. So you can hit it like this or tap it like that and then pull the trigger in for safety. Battery snaps right on the back of it, as you can see here. And once again, it's gonna push in our safety and triggers it or I'm gonna push this in with this finger and then I'm gonna push it like this here. And then once again, if I do not push that button, I can't pull the trigger of it right there. If you do need to clean it or whatnot, do be very careful, but unscrew this, it'll detach. You do have an Allen wrench that is hooked in right down here and a nice color scheme as well, looking absolutely fresh. And I do have some low hanging dead branches on some of my trees, so let's go cut them. All right, let's give her a rip. This is where it comes in the most handy uh, for these little dead branches down below, trimming your trees, etc. We're gonna try it on some thicker logs as well. You'll notice with this mini chainsaw that branches that you know are about maybe that thick around or so strips it off with ease and does a fantastic job obviously it is a chainsaw so do be very careful So this is a nice thick one here. So this comes in super handy again, because it's a smaller chainsaw, portable as well. Even if you have an electric one, battery powered, smaller, be able to rip through these, move on to your next task. So just a few seconds and you're able to rip through it. Now that was a little bit incline. That's why it took a few extra seconds to get through. So you might have to go on top and then go on the bottom. Do be careful of your good trees. You don't wanna do that to branches and accidentally cut into the thick of the trunk of a good healthy tree. Look how thick this one is compared to my hand. Be able to rip through it. These are very ideal for this type of chainsaw. But let's go look at something a little bit thicker. So this is a great example. These are thicker cut down trees here. So let me just show you uh, an example of this one right here. And this will take just a few extra seconds to rip through it. Actually, even quicker than the other one because it was a straight shot. You don't have to worry about And what I'm talking about an incline is when the trunk is right here and you kind of have to cut it carefully so you don't go into the trunk. But if it's a straight shot, that was just seconds being able to rip through a nice thicky. Now, obviously, it's more ideal on thicker branches like this or something like this that we've already seen, some low hanging fruit, but I'm just gonna show you it is possible. I wouldn't go anything larger than this. This guy's a doozy right here. It is possible, but just in my personal opinion, not the most ideal chainsaw for something this thick. Again, I would stick with something that we just cut and that we've already seen, but let me show you. Yes, most ideal, no. But 
it can if you really want it to. Now this would also be great if you've already done your cutting with these large ones and all these offshoots of branches if you needed to cut them down into smaller sections to be able to fit it in your dumpster or large trash can. This would be a very good benefit to you as well instead of having to snap them off or use some old school manual branch cutters or something like that. It would rip through these like we've already seen in seconds. Well folks, overall this battery powered chainsaw did a fantastic job ripping through these branches. Once again, top link in the description box below will be this exact same battery powered chainsaw by the company Snapfresh where you guys can read more about it and pick it up yourself. But please, once again, just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, please go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, it helps the channel and I really appreciate that. And consider subscribing if you like videos like this, check out the channel. Once again, top link in the description box below is your link. Have a great day.